What is up, guys? My name is, of course, Judo Burrito, and we are back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of... Or no, not Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. There we go. And in the last episode, we got uh, one heart piece. We got a few stuff. I was a little disappointed in the lack of... Um, the lack of heart pieces we got, but well, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll make up for it in this episode. We'll see. Um, but for now, um, we got some more stuff to do, so... Right off the bat, we're just gonna jump right into this, not waste any time. Go ahead and head to North Clock... or South Clock Town. And for now, okay, that scared me. My cat just walked in. And yeah, the door started to open. That was kind of scary. But anyways, we're gonna head to the laundry pool in South Clock Town. And there's actually a mask we can get here just by talking to somebody. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, wow, they said I was much too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Sigh, now I'm sad. I was thinking about the past to keep in mind off the bad. Oh, yes, I'll do that. Your guess, long ago I was in an animal troop with dogs and do donkeys and such. What is that the word, troop? That's weird. Why could a? Why could a? Why could a man join? That's because a man is an animal too, my boy. Yes, I have to agree with you on that. They're all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the- why was the- why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He had, always had a stellar tr troop or whatever that word is. No matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I, that's why I, that's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it. I'll give it to you, my guest. I'll I give it to my guest, okay. You got the bourbon mask. This mask belonged to the leader of an animal troop. Try parading it around tiny young animals. Okay, keep that in mind, tiny young animals. And he gets added to our notebook and took the mask apparently, so... For now, I guess we're just gonna get out of here. And move on to some more important stuff. First of all, you're, you're gonna want to equip your Kamaro's mask, the one that we got from the, the dancing guy out on out at the Terminal Field. We're gonna equip that and head to West Clock Town, actually. So I guess the quickest way to do that is just to be right up here. Head up these stairs and then equip the mask. Stand in front of these. Um, okay, actually, let's talk to him first. Don't bother us. And then they get that they get out of your notebook. What you want to do is equip the mask and hold B to dance. Just when you thought this game couldn't get any weirder. Just when you thought this game couldn't get any weirder. This happens. This is a very odd cutscene, and I don't know why it's even in this game. I don't know what the point is, but, oh my god, upskirt shots. Okay, that was odd. <laughs> Ready for everyone, yeah. Sure, we're not. No one's falling for your little tricks, Nintendo. You got a piece of heart. You've assembled a new heart container. Okay, that's our first assembled heart container, as you can see. That's kind of exciting. Not really at all, but still. Um, okay, what's next? I guess we can get an, um, since we're in West Clock Town, we can go ahead and buy this bomb bag here. Gonna wanna withdraw some rupees. This thing is gonna cost 90 rupees, so... Withdraw whatever amount you need. I'm gonna withdraw 87. To, uh, in order to buy that. Because, obviously, we want that. Because bombs are gonna be very important. Even though we have a bomb mask, we're still, still gonna wanna just get normal old bombs. Trust me, you will. Uh... The bomb shop. Here it is. This is the bomb shop right here. Has a picture of a bomb next to the door. That's how you know, obviously. And speak to the counter guy, whatever. And over here, as you can see, big bomb bag holds 30 bombs. Go ahead and buy that. And see, now we don't. Have, you don't ever have to buy this normal bomb bag that holds only 20 because um we can skip straight to that. So that's what I always like to do. Um, a lot of people just like to skip, just get both of them, just to, like do everything. But honestly, it's really not that important. Because if you buy a 20 bomb bag, like the bomb bag that holds 20, and then you get the big bomb bag, like obviously you can't have the bomb bag that holds 20 anymore, so it's like, okay, let's just do that then. Next place you're going to want to go is head on in here. Oh, and wait, never mind. We have to, um, make sure you have 10 rupees before going in there, is what I meant to do. So, back to the bank, I guess. Right, I'm just going to withdraw 20 rupees and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I have, 20, I have 10 rupees in my rupee bag now, so... I think I'm just gonna do that from now on. Is like cut out everything I every time I like withdraw or deposit something because I've shown it a couple uh, like a few times now and I don't really need to show it anymore because I already know what to do. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. From now until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? Yes, do the expert course. Do not do the novice course. This is, um, sword training, by the way, and if you do the novice course, you get nothing out of it. Only, like, a few, like, skills that you may not have known. But, like, it doesn't really matter that much. You just need to do this uh, expert course, and when you do it, it will give you a heart piece. Um, what you gotta jump attack every one of them. If you don't jump attack, like, even one of them, you won't get the prize. And if you miss any of them, you won't get it either. What you want to do is, like, lock on, and then wait for Link to straighten out before you do the jump, because you have plenty of time, and if you miss, then you kind of run out of time. So, um, you don't want to do that. Oops, almost messed up here. So yeah, lock on, then wait, like, one half a second before you actually jump, or however long you need to wait, just just wait. And you should do it pretty easily. I, I do remember this giving me trouble, so, um... It's not, like, it's not that big of a deal, it's, it's not that difficult or anything, but still. I mean, still be careful, because you can still easily mess up. So, yeah, that's all there is to that. Go ahead and leave, and head out to Terminal Field again. And for now, um, we're going to head over, and we're going to fight some Dodongos, believe it or not, for a heart piece, which is exciting. So just by saying that, you know that we should equip some bombs. If you played Ocarina of Time, then you know the Dongos, their weakness, are the bombs. Let's see. I think it's the hole is going to be under here. Yeah, okay, that's what she said. But still, yeah, drop into this hole. And here are the Dodongos. Now, they take forever to kill just using your sword, but bombs break the game. Well, not the game, but, you know, they break this little battle here. It, it just breaks it. And this is probably the only time we're ever going to even fight a Dodongo in this game at all. Because they don't play a huge role in, any, in like anything at all. So, yeah, and also they don't forget to grab the rupees that they drop. But yeah, like using killing them with their sword takes forever. You don't even, just don't even do it. If you want to do it, then what you have to do is like hit their tail over and over again. But it takes like 30 minutes to, to do it like total. Because like they take so many hits. Even if you jump attack, they still take forever. I don't know. I tried it once and it just took too long. So we just got these bombs. Might as well use them. You know. Anyways, open up this chest, and we get a piece of heart. Yeah, I spoiled it. Oh no. Well, whatever shall I do, I spoiled the piece of heart. It's not like anyone knew what it was going to be anyways. Whatever, okay. Next thing we're going to do is get another piece of heart by killing a pea hat. Which is, um, actually over this way. And, um, if you've played, if you played Wind Waker, but not this game, or if, if you, like, or you haven't played this or Rocket in Time, but you played Wind Waker... Then you will be surprised what by how the pea hats look in this game because they are huge and they are monstrous and they will pwn anything that gets in their way. So, with that in mind, let's head on over. Oh my God, you're, you're so annoying! Get out of here! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. And oh my God, I can't even get, just ignore him. Let's go. Now this is actually the pea hat is actually in an, another hole, one of those holes that we were in a second ago. I think it's in this grass over here. Yes, you wanna see these butterflies? You wanna go under the butterflies, like run towards them, and you should fall into the hole. And here's the pea hats. A lot different than in any other game, in like Twilight Princess and stuff. Oh my god, really? Wait, what? What? Um. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna die. I, I will not die in this. But seriously though, like what? Why? That, that was not supposed to happen. There's supposed to be like, I was supposed to fight this thing. Maybe it has to be like, daytime? I mean, I don't know. It might have to be daytime. I'm just gonna change it to day and then try again and see what happens. We're gonna play the inverted song of time and go back to, uh, we'll go, yeah, go to the second day. And um, I think that might be it too, because I remember in Ocarina of Time, like at nighttime, they, like it, it summoned its minions to go kill you, but then in the daytime, it, it itself attacked you. It gets to sleep at night or something like that. That might be it. Let's see. I have one heart now, so I'm going to have to fight this thing with one heart. But I don't think that's too much of a problem. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. This thing, you can beat it really easily without taking any damage at all. Just do this. Slash away, slash away, slash away, slash away, slash away, slash away, slash away. Okay, I won't do that every time. Keep hitting it, and hit it again, and don't jump attack because that might 
like get hit by its little, um, you know, its little spikes there on the side. And with that, the treasure chest is going to appear with... What could it possibly be? Could it be a hard piece? There's no way it could possibly be a hard piece. Let's see what it is. And it is a heart piece. Who would have known? Wow, okay, yeah. But that's good because we get full health now. Oh, now I guess we're just going to leave. And I, I think it's time to go to Romani Ranch. I think that's our next um next thing to do on the to-do list. So Romani Ranch is actually this way. This is going to be our new little area. I want to head over here. And you see that bird that we just like... You may have seen it out of the corner of the screen up there. Um, that thing, don't let it take anything. Don't let it hit you at all, because it will take it'll it will take something that you have. It'll take your sword, it could take your bottles, it could take a bow and arrow. Well when you get that later on, that was a spoiler, but still. You know, it can take anything, so don't let it hit you. And if you kill it, you get a bunch of rupees. So. That's a little something to know there. And you see this rock up here, this guy, um So basically the the path to Romani Ranch, the Romani Ranch is this way this way, and the path has been blocked off by this boulder, and um, this guy is obviously trying to hit it down. But he, it doesn't take, it takes a long time because he only doesn't have a diamond pick, only has an iron pick. So, um, yeah, basically he doesn't finish with that thing until the final day. So what you want to do is play the Song of Diverted Time, or no, the Song of Double Time twice. And then, um, and then that'll allow us to access Romani Ranch. So play that once. Just press A to skip that animation because, you know, one needs to see that. Okay. So, 36 hours remain. So, um, you can only access this as of now on the final day. But there are, there's a few events here that happen, um, on the first and second days. So it's like, okay, well how do you do those if you can't even get in on the first and second days? Well, um, we'll be getting into that a lot later. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. It's kind of important. For now, um, should we buy a map now? Eh, let's not do it. Who cares? We can do that later on when we actually need it. I'm just hoping we have time to, uh, do what I want to do here. Because what we're about to do is kind of tedious, and, uh, get, it gets us a new mask, but it's kind of tedious. And if this is a long episode, I don't, it doesn't really bother me that much, so I might as well just do it. Okay, so, um, what you may have seen earlier up there is, um... There's really nothing at all we can do up there, on the final day at least. So we're going to be getting into that a lot later. Let's, for now, we're not even going to go up there. We're not going to spoil anything. And we're just going to go on down this way, because this is where we can get the mask that I was talking about. And you want to get this mask. This is a um, very good mask for just like speeding up processes and like running and stuff. This is a mask that makes you run faster, and um, yeah, it's very helpful. So we're just going to head on in here, through the door. And of course, head on down here, and you see these little baby chicks everywhere, and um, a Mohawk man, Rockstar type guy who looks like he can just eat a lot more than he is right now. Let's see, my only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters, and he gets added to our notebook. So remember that thing in the description of the Bremen mask about small animals? Let's do that. So. Put it on, make Link look like Falcon, and then hold B to march, and the little chicks will follow you, because Link knows how to pick up chicks, and yes, I stole that from Trevor Conroy, but who, I mean, honestly, I don't have anything bad. <laughs> that, that's a good pun. That, that's, I mean, ob obviously, I don't like puns, but like, that, that was a good pun. And yeah, so, um, let's see, don't. It's very easy to cancel this animation, so don't like, uh, don't roll, don't like, press R, don't do any of that. And you should be fine, you should be good to go. So, yeah, let's see. Go on over here. And the, the chicks will be in random places, so don't like, do what I'm doing and expect to get all of them. No, they'll be in like, random, random places. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Oh, Link, can you go any faster? Ugh, we're up to 15 minutes at this point, Link. You can, you, I think you can go a little bit faster than that, to be honest. 
Oh my god, you can, see, you can feel the, the earth shaking as the moon gets closer. That's such a good, so cool. Such a cool cinematic effect. And when you have all of them, the chickens will start hatching, and then... They will be full-grown roosters! I guess marching speeds up their pro growing process or whatever, let's see. Look, I did you a favor and I'll give you my mask. There we go, that's finally done. Okay, I don't have any regrets anymore, okay. And he gives us the bunny hood mask. I don't know why he has that because... He, yeah, it doesn't look like he's gonna be doing any running anytime soon. But anyways, yeah, it makes you run faster. Um, and whoops, let me take this off first. And yeah, as you can see, Link makes Link look like a, look like a little, cute little kid. Or, okay, I don't know why I said that, but... Yeah, it makes Link run faster, somehow. Um, so that's, that's another little life lesson for you. Um, kids out there, if you want to run... Oh my god, I d really just triggered that. Okay, well, we might as well get into this. Um, yeah, as you can see... Um, Majora's Mask has somehow been able to stuff my horse into this little, uh pen here and we can't get him out and uh, one thing I want to well, I do want to say is that I've actually gotten into there I've gotten there before when I was a kid and I was just like running around and I was real bored and stuff I went on that roof and then I like okay yeah, there I think there's a way to get on that roof I'm, I think there's like a ladder somewhere but yeah I got on the roof and then I um, jumped like did perfect precision and I jumped right into the pen and I was stuck in there there's no way to get out like because I didn't have the teleportation song yet that um, we get later on but, um, yeah, there was no way out, and it was stuck in there. And, um, yeah, and I had to, like, make a whole new save, because, like, there's no... I, obviously, you can't get out of there, I mean, honestly. So, yeah, that don't do that. Don't even try to get up there, because <laughs> that sucks if you can't get out of there, man. You have to redo everything. So, yeah, just thought I'd say that. Because, you know, there's some people out there who are furious, who are, um... And, um, what's the word, uh... Experimental, if that's the word. Saving, saving progress at this point with Ling, yes. Okay, so that's the end of the episode, guys, because we were up to 17 and a half minutes. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. The commentary was a, get, a bit bland, but other, other than that, I think it was fine. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. This has been Drudo Burrito, signing out. Can I make this intro outro?